Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So this is a chapter 8 Introduction to data mining So here is the chapter outline So this chapter will focus uh, on the scope of data mining So we will look one by one Data exploration and reduction Classification, association And cause and effect modeling So the first part Introduction. So, what is data mining? Data mining refer to a collection of a large amount of data. So, this data is part of descriptive and prescriptive analytics. So, meaning uh, this data we need to describe what is happening to the current situation and a prescriptive prescriptive analytic we need to suggest a, a possible action or recommendation uh, that help manager to make a better decision okay better decision so the process involved firstly we identify the pattern of data okay identify the pattern of data so we will identify the pattern of data uh, through bar chart pie chart and trend chart then the next step uh, predict uh, predict what will happen uh, in the future so we make a prediction based on this statistic so this uh, descriptive and prescriptive analytic data will help manager to make a better decision that have an impact to the future performance of the business okay next tools for prediction so this is the tools for prediction firstly uh, we use excel chart okay excel chart number two pivot tables in microsoft excel number three we conduct a regression analysis and forecasting a model from regression to a trend chart okay next the scope of uh, data mining okay the first one is data exploration and reduction so now to explore data we need to understand the differences among customer and divide the customer into homogeneous or different groups because in business we believe that different customer have different preferences okay different customer have different preferences or interests so before company design the best marketing and promotional strategies because we want to design the best marketing strategy to customer we need to identify the characteristic of best employees in our company okay we need to identify uh, the characteristic of the best employees in our company because the best employees will give the best service to customer so this is the formula of a successful company where happy employees plus happy customer will translate to successful performance of a company in the future okay next the second scope is classification so classification is the process where we analyze data because we want to predict how to classify a new data element which means when manager want to see how customer respond okay how customer or consumer respond to advertising and promotional activities there so we therefore we need to observe consumer behavior from our sales data record so we have a record such as gender amount of purchase type of product that they bought the price range and so on number three 
association. So association it refer to process of analyzing database to identify natural association among variable and create rules for target marketing, target customer, or buying recommendation. For example, YouTube and Netflix use concept of association to understand what type of movies a customer like and provide recommendation based on the data. So whatever movie that we watch from YouTube or Netflix actually have, have become a data to the company. Okay. Next, another example, supermarket. So supermarket use these uh, tools, loyalty card. They use loyalty card or membership card Okay, membership card to collect data on customer purchasing habit and print coupons because we as a customer we love price reduction so at the point of purchase based on what was currently bought next the last one the scope the last scope cause and effect Modeling. So, cost and effect modeling refer to the process of developing analytic models to describe the relationship between metrics that drive business performance. So, this is the possible factor that normally used by company, politic, economy, sociological, technology, legal and environment. So, this factor have an impact to business performance. But how far and how much this factor have an impact, the company have to make a research based on the sales data. So, that's all about this chapter and thank you.